it's probably safe to say that most people love to buy things. They love to buy clothes, cars, cell phones, and even nice meals. Many people would probably also say companies in those industries would be exciting to work for. But would you feel confident running the manufacturing facilities? Yeah, manufacturing is perhaps the most ominous and mysterious portion of the supply chain. Because items today are rather complex, and because the distance between manufacturers and retailers is often so great, most people know very little about the manufacturing process. At best, they might guess some of the materials used to make it or maybe where the item was made. But ask them how the item was actually created. Yeah, that's what I thought. Look, rather than try and figure out how each product or service is produced, let's figure out which issues a supply chain manager needs to consider in manufacturing a product. And to make it even easier, we'll consider manufacturing facilities near your home. Yeah, believe it or not, most of you live near modern manufacturing facilities. In fact, many of us visit these manufacturing facilities and assembly plants many times each week. Do you know what I'm talking about? Think about it. Yep, you got it, restaurants. Restaurants take raw materials and transform them into complex end items just like manufacturing plants do. Before the first burger is ever served up to a customer, someone was responsible for designing the burger. Believe it or not, companies like McDonald's and Red Robin have research and development teams just like Ford and Sony. So we need R&D to design an excellent burger. We need procurement to purchase the right ingredients. And we need to think about how to manufacture a burger that will still be delicious after the drive home. In running these manufacturing facilities, executives must consider trade-offs related to cost, quality, speed, and flexibility. Higher quality burgers take more time to manufacture and ingredients are more expensive. Offering the customer more options could be more costly and time consuming to produce. But high quality burgers made slowly with lots of customer options are more likely to be desired by hamburger lovers. So in order to make your dining experience perfect in a way that provides the restaurant a profit, an executive must understand what the customer is willing to accept as standard on a burger and what can be customized for each burger. And this will dictate decisions related to labor, machinery, inventory, capacity, and perhaps the restaurant's design and location. So, now you better understand that even manufacturing hamburgers is about more than material and labor cost. And it's only after considering design, manufacturing, and resources that companies can properly explore outsourcing, offshoring, and in the case of hamburger restaurants, franchising. So next time someone says outsourcing decisions are only about low cost, you'll know better. Right? Good. So you ready to manage a Boeing facility? Look, manufacturing an airplane will always be intimidating, but hopefully now you have a better feeling about the important issues and considerations product designers and supply chain managers must confront in delivering millions of high quality products and services to customers all over the world. Are you feeling a little better about manufacturing? Well, then let's go get a burger. <laughs>